The FTSE 100, when you talk about where an index is trading, 7200 was the level that flashed up on our screens yesterday, but it hasn't stuck there. And that's quite common when you test out new territory to come, come back, take stock. What happens for the rest of this year? Do you think sterling weakness can support the market further, or is it just too much uncertainty for investors to remain invested in the UK market? Well, I suspect we've seen the big bulk of sterling weakness. Uh, everyone is expecting a hard Brexit at the moment, and people are going to continue to expect a hard Brexit. Do you think, do you think everyone's expecting that, that we've already seen the weakness in sterling? Because some traders think there could be more to come. There could be a natural weakening of the currency when Article 50 is triggered. I, I think it's sort of as you go below 120, sterling's or on a PPP basis is looking looking good value. So I don't expect it to be to much weaker from there. Um, and I think actually generally in terms of the UK, the economic news isn't as bad, and we've seen that since the Brexit vote. It hasn't been as bad. Recent PMI numbers are good. So I'm. I'm reasonably confident that in the UK, of course, the recent boost has been from the miners, the energy stocks that have had the real bounce. Uh, there are other areas that are still on, on really cheap valuations because they're worried. And talking about house builders earlier, yeah. they were, took a huge hit uh, following the referendum. And then things haven't been quite as bad, but they're still on, on pretty low multiples.